What's going down, everybody? It's a good, good Tuesday, right? I want to start this video off by talking about what's going on with our world today. You got Ukraine and you got Russia getting ready to go to war and it's affecting the market. It's affecting the stocks and the crypto market, right? It started affecting the market last week. You know? Uh, but what they're doing is they're at least talking. They keep trying to punk, like, you know, different, we we trying to punk Russia. Russia trying to punk Ukraine. Ukraine said, we ain't no punk. You know what I mean? So, it's a punking situation going on with, with the three countries right now. You know, United States always got to. You know, stick their head in the business and see what's going on if it's about some oil. You know, we crazy about that oil in the U.S. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> we always got to see what's going on. So, what's happening is, Biden came out today and said, we really don't want to go over there and fight. We really don't want to go in Ukraine. The president of Russia, Putin, he came out and said he don't really want no war. He want to go rescue uh, people and bring them back to Russia. I don't know. This is what he said, not me. So, but at least they talking. You feel me? At least they getting an understanding on what's going on. And the more they come to an understanding, the more the market going to go up for a minute until them feds come out, right? So we got two uncertainties that's bringing the market down, right? So I just wanted to touch on the, you know, what's going on with our world and how it's affecting the market, right? And I also, before I start on these cryptos, I want to talk about FUD, F-U-D. That's a, um, that's, that's like stock slang, you know what I mean? And it stands for fear, uncertainty, and doubt. FUD is what makes a lot of stocks and crypto go down, right? Because when you create that fear, oh, it's gonna, I don't know what it's going to do, right? Let me get this out of here. I, I'm just going to take a loss. That's what they want you to do. Uncertainty. You don't know what, you know, what the future holds for that. Now you're doubting what you've been, you know what I mean, thinking and what you've been reading and if you've been reading, you know? So fear, uncertainty, and doubt is what they try to put on the market all the time to make it go down. So it's a lot of FUD going on with this war and it's a lot of FUD going on with the uh, Fed coming out and... Uh, flexing his power with the uh, with the interest rate hike, right? Now, at first, just to touch on the feds for a minute, at first, everybody was thinking how many times is they going to raise the taxes? Twice? Four, five, six, seven times, right? But it's not that. They got something called a 50-point basis right and basically what that is is a half of percentage 0 0.5 percentage rate hike right uh, 
reel it, I don't know what they're going to do. You know what I mean? So I, I'm not going to even sit here and pretend like I know what they're about to do. But that's what a lot of them was talking about, a 50-point basis rate hike. And that's basically a zero, a half of percentage rate hike. And it's already high right now. So... I think that, I don't know. I don't, I think it will have an impact on a, a, a negative impact on the market. 50 point basis rate hike. I think that will have a negative impact on the market, but I don't think it will be severe. Now, if they come out and say we want a hundred point basis on a, or 200 point basis, whoo. That's going to bring this thing down all the way. You know what I mean? So really be careful this next month, this next three weeks. You know what I mean? We got a short month with February. So it's coming up quick, March 16th. Y'all look out. Y'all watch the meeting. And while y'all watching the meeting, be looking at y'all computer or y'all iPad or y'all phone, right? Because it's going to start going down depending on what they say as the meeting is going. I'm telling you, well, that's, that's, you know, that's the power that be, bro. That's who run this thing, man. So check it out. So I, I'm going to start with uh, Bitcoin today, right? Bitcoin is, uh, everything is starting to get beat up a little bit. So Bitcoin is presently at $37,824, right? Now, I want to touch on this too. If you're wondering, how do we make money in situations and times like this, right? Right? So I know you hear me talk about getting in low and getting out high, right? I want to clarify this. When I'm speaking that, when I'm talking that talk, I'm talking about investments that I'm talking about an investment that's not your long-term investment. Your long-term investment is not really to be touched like that. You know what I mean? But your short-term, your option trading, right? Your swing trading, which is done daily, day trading. That's what I'm talking about when I say get in low and get out high, right? So how do you do that? I'm going to start dropping a link at the bottom of this to show you what uh, apps that I do my swing trading on. I'm not going to speak about it right now. I'm going to come back my next video. I'm going to have my uh, the apps I use for swing trading and the apps I use for long-term trading, right? And it's been working with me for years, so it's been working right, you know, no uh, hacks or none of that, so but Bitcoin, they, I don't know. They say Bitcoin could go down to, they say it could test the waters at, at 28, 20, low 29, 28. So if you got some Bitcoin, really watch out, you know, for this next three weeks. Ain't no telling, you know, where this crypto is about to go. You see everything already low, right? So I'm going to move from Bitcoin and go to Ethereum. I don't think we ever covered Ethereum. But Ethereum could sneak up on us like Bitcoin. See, if you really go back and look at it, Bitcoin wasn't that much like three years ago. But, you know, one winner 
it just shot up. You know what I mean? And that's all we could say. It just shot up. It, it's as little of people that invest on cryptocurrency in the world, it still pushed Bitcoin up dramatically. Now, if you're wondering how many people, what's the percentage of people that invest in cryptocurrency in the world? Last time I checked, Shout out to Nipsey Hussle. It was 3%. That's why we invest in cryptocurrency. Whether it's four or five right now, because a lot's been going. Shiba Eno had people I never would think would talk about cryptocurrency talking about, hey man, you invested in Shiba Inu? Right? So ain't no telling where it's at at this moment. But last time I checked, it was 3% of the world. Don't they do something to you? You know what I mean? Don't they give you a, a drive to know this ain't even caught fire yet with the rest of the world? And this amount of money is going around? But they say 1% of the rich accounts for 40% of the middle class, right? No, no, no. Makes more than 40% of the middle class. <laughs> and this was long, this was what, four, five years ago. They didn't update bread since then. Probably a half percent of the middle class, of the rich makes more than 40% of the middle class now. thing is crazy but we're gonna move right along and uh talk about shiba inu shiba inu is currently what's shiba inu shiba inu is currently four zeros 2448 she trying to hold in there. Now, it did go down a little bit. Where was we at? Just What was that, 30? It did go down a little bit, but it ain't really going down like all the rest of them. Sheeb is standing his ground, though. You feel me? Like, I'm impressed by Sheeb. Even though it's down 20%, I'm impressed by Sheeb. You know what I mean? I'm expecting Sheeb to be like 17 cent. I mean, 17 cent. Four zeros, one seven right now. You know what I mean? So, shout out to Sheeb, man, and the army for keeping y'all, keeping the uh, coin up. Because that's all it is. But uh, I'm going to move back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about uh, XRP. I ain't never covered XRP. XRP is not tradable. Or not, I shouldn't say not tradable. But they own some type of, they, the people was checking them out, so they can't really make a lot of noise right now. Right? So they saying when they're able to come out and the token is, is uh, live, active again, it's just going to go crazy. Now, that's just what I heard from a lot of reputable people that's been making a lot of money. I've never traded XRP, but you might want to look into it and uh, see what you come up with. I'm going to go to uh, Sheba Girlfriend. Sheba Girlfriend is down past 8050. Zero. If you've been following Sheba Girlfriend, now is the time. Oh, my goodness. Could it go down more? Yeah, it could. I don't know what the future holds. You know what I mean? It could go down more. But it's a beautiful time to get Sheba Girlfriend. 
It's eight zeros forty five right now. It's a beautiful position. You know what I mean? So it's beat up. Check out she girlfriend. But I'm a uh I'm gonna end this video on this gloomy and rainy and gray day. Go get me some soup or some I like to call it pho, but I know that it's pronounced pho. All you pho eaters out there. But uh, it's, it's going to be a pho day for me. I'm going to go ahead and give me something to eat. And I'm going to see y'all next time. We're talking crypto and stocks. With Sly Fox. Peace.